Yes, you guessed it, I am pro-life. I even have a bumper sticker in my car. And the churches around my area, they are pro-life also. They always take a couple of buses each year to the pro-life march. They have so many people want to go. They're always adding more buses. And it's really surged since President Trump has been, off it, been in office. President Trump being in office has helped bring a lot of people's courage back where they may have been afraid to admit they were pro-life before and afraid to admit they were conservative before. But now they have courage. This is a courage we must maintain and grow. And as a per per person on the religious right, I definitely believe in the sanctity of life. And I believe that, well, not only does life begin at conception, but God knows who you are before you're conceived. You know that? Pretty crazy, isn't it? But there is a Bible verse, which I thought was terribly profound. That. It was one of the kings in the Bible. And I'll include this in the link below. But one of the kings, it was before he was even conceived, it said, God loved him because he had a heart after God's heart. I'm like, wow. This is kid. It wasn't he wasn't even wasn't even conceived yet. And God already knew what his heart was. That blows my mind. It's pretty amazing. The bottom line is God knows everything about everybody from beginning to the end of time. So of course he knew. Of course he knows the kid before even before they're conceived. It's pretty amazing. So yes. And as far as choice, yes, I am for the choice to not have sex. That is the choice I am for. So, the choice starts. Have sex or not have sex. There's the choice. There's where I believe in, the, I'm pro-choice that. <clears throat> pro-choice of that belief. So, today we are commemorating <clears throat> all the... The children who lost their lives in this unfortunate, <clears throat> this unfortunate times during this legalization of abortion and pushing of it by the far left activists. <clears throat> but fortunately, their day is on the wane. One of my favorite YouTubers, Dr. Steve Turley, he recently posted a video that said that there are very few abortion clinics in any of the states. It's down 79%. He said all the pro-life activism that's been going on for years is working. So in many states only have one or two abortion clinics in them and I think did you say 17 states don't even have them, have one or, or none. So progress is being made and even though we don't think <clears throat> our activism has made a difference, it has. And things are going back the other way and people are realizing that life is important because the point is you could the same argument abortion activists use you could use that same argument to advocating bumping off somebody in your family <clears throat> you could you could say they're they're sick they're old they're there was actually even during ancient times i believe it was rome that a child was not considered a human being until he was two or three years old so apparently that meant that anything happened to the kid before he was two or three, it didn't, it wasn't murder. So where do you draw the line? You gotta draw the line someplace. We pro-life activists, we don't draw the line. There is no line. Life, human life is human life. And it must be observed and revered as a divine spark of fire from God and human beings are made in the image of God. So we must live like it. We are the temple of the Lord, in the image of the Lord. So, so today we are thinking of and praying for all the people on the trip to the March for Life, and we are thinking of the families and the children, everybody who was affected by these the unfortunate laws. So, God be with them. All right, let freedom ring.